A lot of people handle a football before it ever gets to the field. They start with cowhide. Footballs are traditionally made of this leather because it wears well over time. With the dye, a worker cuts out the four sections that make up the ball's skin. A stamping machine then brands the skin with the company logo. They may put other markings elsewhere on the ball, depending on the design of the model they're making. To strengthen the skin, a seamstress sews cotton and vinyl linings onto all four sections. Then she places them in a die that positions them for another set of markings. Now it's time to sew the top sections together and then the bottom ones to each other. Exactly how many stitches this takes is this company's closely guarded secret. This press makes a hole in one of the top sections for the air valve. To join the ball's top and bottom sections, the seamstress first cups them and then joins the edges together. It's important to flatten the four seams. To do this, the worker places each one on a wheel as a roller passes over the top. A 15-second steam softens the leather and makes it easier to manipulate. A concave press flattens the seams at the tips. This will also keep the ball smooth when they inflate it. The worker places it on a metal bar. Then, reaching through the opening between the lace holes, he grabs the other side of the skin and pulls it through. The bladder is made of polyurethane, a type of plastic with a vinyl patch reinforcing the lacing area. She inflates the bladder a bit to make it rigid enough for lacing. After steadying the ball with clamps, she uses an awl to thread the lace through the holes. Just one vinyl lace measuring four feet. It worms through both sides and then down the center and through all the holes once again. Next, workers temporarily overinflate the balls. Steel molds surround them to ensure they'll assume the correct shape. After 90 seconds, the extra air seeps out. Finally, the factory inspects the balls to ensure they're up to standard. Fully inflated, a ball must weigh no more than 15 ounces. It should measure 21 and a half inches through the middle and 28 inches around both ends. After a five-day manufacturing process, these balls are ready for the field.